Innovating Education Learning World in association with WISE, an initiative of Qatar Foundation. Many young people dream of a career in politics and this week we look at how education and especially political science lessons can help them take their first steps on the ladder. Political science doesn't always have to be formally taught. In Germany, for example, a TV show provides a forum for young people to debate a wide variety of political topics. We go backstage to see what lessons can be learned. Noah and Marie are 9 and 10 years old. They go to school together and are the best of friends. They both like horses, but there's something else a bit unusual that they have in common, an interest in politics. The pair watch the news regularly, news for kids. Logo is a 10-minute current affairs programme for young viewers aged between 8 and 12. I understand the news well. They explain what's happening really well. I've been waiting for some news about Malala because I thought it was really cool what she did. I even read her book. Malala risked her life fighting for girls' rights to go to school in Pakistan. However, Noah and Marie are also interested in events in Syria and Iraq, the right to vote in such places, and freedom to use the internet. Logo is a daily news programme. The ZDF channel's show has been produced in the city of Mainz for the past 25 years. I'm so excited. And I'm so happy I'll be meeting the Logo presenters in a minute. I'm very nervous because they are my favourite stars and I'm going to meet them. More than 400,000 children watch Logo every day, girls in particular. But kids also play an active role as reporters or contributors via the internet. The editorial team choose their political stories carefully. Are they interesting for kids? How to tell the story without being patronising or using simplistic language? This edition is about Syrian refugees. In den Erwachsenennachrichten und im Heute Journal ist es ist es oder in der Heute ist es oft die Fragestellung. In news shows for grown-ups, they often ask the question: How do the host countries treat refugees? Who's going to pay for it? How can you prevent more refugees coming to Europe? Or can we avoid it completely? Here we start right at the beginning and try to answer the question why people flee at all. That's because we think it's the very first question kids ask themselves. Some stories are harder to explain than others, so analysis pieces with graphics and emoticons play a key role in illustrating stories like the Mideast conflict or the Ebola crisis. The presentation style is also important. When I'm presenting, I'm just imagining myself explaining everything to a kid who's sitting next to me. I think of kids who like Logo and try to explain it to them, but not in the same way I would to a grown-up. In 2010, Logo received Germany's top TV prize. It's popular with parents too, and their input has an influence. Studies show children start watching news by following their parents' example. Politics is something of a hot potato in Myanmar, but that hasn't discouraged young people from wanting a degree in politics. And in this next report, we explore just how one school aims to attract more students to study the discipline. Myanmar has entered a new political phase. The country is now open to the outside world. After decades of repressive military rule, the people have more freedom to speak and can now do many things that were forbidden in the past. Nila Kiao is an entrepreneur based in Yangon. Politics has always been her passion. She took part in a political rally in 1988 when she was just 13. I have a dream. I'm willing to learn political science systematically uh, in the past, but we didn't get any chance to learn uh, in a systematic way. So that's why now we are getting a better chance to learn uh, political science here. Zin Mar Ong is a founder, along with a group of young intellectuals, of the Yangon School of Political Science, 
She spent 11 years in prison from 1998 after being arrested for her involvement in a political campaign. The whole society, I mean, is already have trauma in doing and engaging in politics. And so in order to uh, get new generations in politics, it's still challenging for us. So the, the, the reason we uh, organize and form this school is, is that uh, if we have the well-informed and politically informed citizens, we can shape and we can you know, counter the what the government and authority is doing. So uh, we would like to fill this uh, you know, gap as a through education. The course covers 60 hours of tuition and is free of charge. Students have to apply online and pass an interview. There are 38 places up for grabs. Since opening in 2011, the school has trained more than 400 people in political science, political transition and international relations. Most of our students have political background. They are from student unions, they are from political parties. So, so they should know how political, how political institution works. And uh, they, they should know what our, uh, at least, what, what, how our country is uh, behaving. What are the institution, political institution are in our country, like that. They should know the systematic knowledge about, at least for our country system. That's why we are providing business knowledge of political ideologies, political institutions, and the social movements for the political actions. Myanmar will hold a presidential election in 2015. Nila Kyo hopes it will bring more peace and freedom to her country. In the meantime, she remains focused on preparing for a life in politics. One Argentinian young man's political ambitions grew out of volunteering to improve social welfare. He went on to study diplomacy and governance and became convinced he could build a real career in politics. We went to meet him. Many young people have aspirations of becoming entrepreneurs like Bill Gates or top footballers like Lionel Messi. But it would be a much better society if young people aspired to be presidents, aspired to have social and public responsibilities in order to reinvigorate politics as a tool of change. Martin de Angelis is a young Argentine political scientist who continues to study and improve his knowledge. At first, Martin thought he could make change by teaching, like his mother. But his commitment to humanitarian work in the north of his country changed his perspective. It really made an impact on me. Doing charity, social and volunteer work was the right thing to do, but it was just for a moment. What if you wanted to do it all your life? What should you do? And the solution was go into politics. Martin studied political science in the University of Buenos Aires, the largest university in Argentina, which is free to everyone, including foreigners. It's produced four Nobel Prize winners, and it's where world-renowned figures such as Jorge Luis Borges and Che Guevara studied. This is one of the classrooms in which I studied for many years, all these colours and information bombarding the students. It brings you closer to reality as you're discussing ancient philosophy. And this is the cultural mix of UBA, the way it allows us to root ourselves in classical concepts mixed with the realities of today's world. After finishing his studies at UBA, Martin successfully applied for several scholarships around the world, including Fulbright in the US, Chevening in the UK, and the Qatar Foundation. But whether at home or abroad, he always remains focused on Argentinian affairs. He listens to all points of view with the aim, maybe one day, of joining the ranks of the elected representatives in Parliament. It's the peak of public vocation, to represent others. All these seats here represent someone, and that's the spirit of democracy. 
So what do you think about political science education? Would you like to be a politician? And if so, how do you plan to go about it? Share your ideas with us on our social media pages. Goodbye for now. Learning World, in association with WISE, an initiative of Qatar Foundation.